Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today I invite you to crochet warm and simple hat. For work I will use 6 mm crochet hook and a ball of wool yarn. All additional information about the tools could be found in the description of each video tutorial. Please join me and let's get started. I will begin from the brim part. Make a chain of 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So my foundation chain is ready. So you should crochet a little bit loosely. Let's crochet the first row. Make a chain for transition part. Make a slip stitch into the each chain stitch of the foundation chain. Make a slip stitch into the each chain stitch. Pattern consists of one stitch and has one round. So make all slip stitches into the loop. Let's complete this row. So my row is ready. Let's crochet row 2. Make a chain. Turn the work. I pull this chain stitch. Turn the work in this direction always. Work with back loops only. They are front loops and back loops. Insert the hook into the back loops. Make a slip stitch. So make slip stitch into the each back loop. Keep working in this way till the end of this row. Here what I have. Then I will show you how to crochet the next one. Pattern consists of one row and has one stitch. So you can Make the foundation chain of any amount of chains. Let's crochet the last one. Then make a chain. Pull a little bit. Make a slip stitch into the each back loop of the next stitch. So keep working in this way as many times as you need for your brim part. And now I show you the ready project. And today you will see how to crochet the stylish and warm hat. My hat consists of three parts, brim part, straight part and the crown. So I will start from the brim part. Pattern consists of one stitch and has one row. It is very stretchy and comfortable. Then I continue working with the straight part of the head. I will use another kind of yarn. For the brim part you need to do 13 chains in the foundation chain. Please to pay attention for the first round of the main part. 
It consists of 70 chains. It consists of 70 chains. Pattern consists of one stitch and pattern has two rounds. After that I will show you how to crochet the crown. Here how it looks. In this case I will show you how to crochet the greases and how many you need to get such amazing crown. I continue working on my brim part. I have done the brim part. Actually I have made my pattern in the brim part and right now I show you how to join two sides together. In your case it could be perfect for your head. As you can see it is very stretchy. And right now I will measure my brim part. The length is 17 centimeters. For this project I am using a wool yarn and just your favorite crochet hook. The height is 9 centimeters or 9 centimeters 5 millimeters. I took their fronts together. This is the beginning of the work that is closer to me. And this is my point where I stopped at before. And here is my working loop. I put their fronts and let's crochet the join. I'm making a chain. Pull a little bit. Turn the work, I insert the hook into the first stitch, insert the hook into the back loop, make a slip stitch like this. Let's repeat. Insert the hook into the chain stitch, insert the hook into the back loop, pull through all loops on the hook, insert the hook into the next chain stitch, insert the hook into the next back loop, pull through all loops on the hook. So you should crochet in the middle, not too strong and not too loosely. One, two, three, and so on. Keep working in this way till the end of this row. Then I will show you my ready seam. After that you will see how to start the straight part. My seam is ready. Here how it looks on the back side of the head. Let's look at it on the front. There is no visible. Next time you will see how to crochet the straight part. It should look beautiful on the front, on the back side as well. I continue working on the back side. L let's crochet. Turn work to the front side. I am do this is the front side of my brim part. This is my seam. Let's make the first round of the straight part, make a chain. I'm going to work with slip stitches. Insert the hook into the thread, make a slip stitch. So there is they are cables and space between cables, cables and space between cables. Please do not pull it.
Insert the hook into the cable, make a slip stitch. Make slip stitch and make slip stitch into the cable. In total it should be 70 chains in this round. You can change the crochet hook to the smaller one if it's difficult for you make a slip stitch insert the hook into the space make a slip stitch and insert the hook into the thread insert the hook into the cable make a slip stitch Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete it. Please to pay attention for the first round. You should check yourself. There are 70 stitches in the first round of the straight part. I remind you, you should crochet a little bit loosely. Otherwise, you will feel not comfortable when you wear this hat. I remind you, you can use any kind of yarn and any crochet hook that you like. I continue working on my hat. Let's complete this round with me. I skip the chain stitch, insert the hook into the first stitch. like this make a slip stitch i pull it i mark this first stitch i don't want to lost i don't want to lose it I did a slip stitch into pull a little bit, make a chain and pull it. This is for transition. So I turn the work and I'm working in in a row. Pattern consists of two rows. I am done preparation row. Let's crochet the pattern. I am on the back side of the work. Work with back loops. Make a slip stitch into the each back loop. So in the next round, I will show you how to crochet stitches into the front loop. Pattern consists of two stitches. Pattern consists of one stitch and has two rows. Keep working in this way till the end of this row. Do not pull them. Let's complete this row with me. I am working in rows. I remove the stitch marker and now I show you how to complete it. Insert the hook into the stitch. Make a slip stitch. Insert the hook into the third stitch. Make a slip stitch. Pull it. I mark the stitch marker. Then I turn the work and work in rows. Make a chain. Turn it again.
This is the front side of my work. As I told you before, now I am working into the front loops only. They are front loops and back loops. like this pattern consists of one stitch and pattern has two rows so when i am working on the front side i have to crochet slip stitches into the front loop when i'm working on the back side I have to crochet into the back loops only. So keep working in this way till the end of this row, like this. Then I will show you how to complete this row with me. I am working with rows in a huge round. Let's complete row 2 of the main pattern I remind you my pattern consists of only two rows I am working with the stitch that I marked before insert the hook into the chain stitch make a slip stitch insert the hook into the stitch make a slip stitch Insert the hook into the both loops. This is my first stitch or first slip stitch. Make a slip stitch. I pull it. Make a chain and mark this stitch. So I will mark the stitch for more then i turn the work so my second row is completed let's crochet row trio of the main pattern so i'm working with back loops only like this work with back loops only Make slip stitch into the each back loop. My pattern consists of two rows. I am working on the back side. So if you are working on the front side, you should work with front loops only. Keep working in this way till the end of this row. Here what I have. It is very easy to make. So you should repeat as many times as you need for your head. And I will show you the ready straight part. I have done the brim and the straight part of the head. Here how it looks when you are done. I measure it. The height is 21 centimeters. For me it's enough. At this point I'm going to work with crown. The second side is 27 centimeters. There is 70 stitches in the first round of the straight part or this is the preparation row it was a round of slip stitches i remind you i remind you my first round of the straight part consists of 70 chains next time you will see how to crochet the crown and also 
I show you how to crochet the creases for the crown in this head. Let's look at my straight part. Continue working on my head. Let's crochet the first round of the crown. I remind you I working with the rows in round. I am working with front loops on the front side and when I turn the work I am working with back loops on the back side. It is very easy to remember. So let's crochet the first round of the crown. I am done the last round of the straight part. It was around on the back side. I did a slip stitch in the chain to bring up the yarn. And let's crochet. Now I show you how to crochet the grease. I'm going to work with the greases only on the front side. So it means I'm going to work with the greases into the each of the first round. I'm making the grease. In total it should be 5 rounds of the greases. But in total you have got 10 rounds. Let's crochet the first round. Insert the hook into the front loop. 2, 3, 4. Here this is my stitch. Then insert the hook into the next front loop. This is the fifth and the sixth front loops. Grab the yarn, pull it through. Continue. One, two, three, four. Continue. Insert the hook into the fifth and sixth loop and make degrees like this. Here what I have. Continue. One. Keep working this way till the end of this round. Let's repeat one more time. One. Two. Three. Four. And so on. And to make degrees one and two. And so on till you will get the ready first round. Let's complete this round. I'm working on the front side and work with the front loops only. This is my last stitch. Make a slip stitch into the last front loop. Then insert the hook into the first stitch. Make a slip stitch. I pull it. I pull too much my slip stitch then make a chain and pull it here what i have now i need to turn the work to the back side i mark this stitch to remember this because next row will be a row without the greases. Turn the work. I am working on the back side at this point. Work with back loops only. So I'm not doing the degreases in this round. Just make the pattern. I remind you my pattern consists of two rounds.
like this. So keep working in this way. I remind you total it should be 10 rounds. 5 of them should be with degreases. And all 5 rounds should be done on the front side. And I repeat one more time, you should make degreases on the front side of the pattern. Please keep working in this way till the end of the 10th round of the crown. Here what I have at this point. I am done rounds with the degreases. I didn't remove my stitch marker that you will see. I am done my degreases in 5 rounds. They are all on the front side. In total it should be 10 rounds. Each second round was doing without degreases. Next time you will see how to finish the crown and how you can wear this hat. Also you can decorate this hat using the crochet flowers, leaves and another accessories. Let's look at the hole and let's look at the crown. For this hat I am using grey color of yarn, you can use any of your favorite colors. Also it could be double colored hat. I will remove the stitch marker and then I am going to work with the greases but in different way. Now I show you how to crochet them. I continue working on my crown. Let's crochet the greases. I am done around on the back side. I did slip stitch, then make a chain. I'm going to make two rounds of the greases. In total, it should be four rounds. I remind you, you should make the greases on the front side only. Make a slip stitch. Work with front loops only. They are front loops. And let's continue. Insert the hook into the front loop. Then next front loop. Grab the yarn, pull it through. Then make slip stitch and work with slip stitches two together. First one, the second and pull through. Insert the hook into the next front loop, make slip stitch, insert the hook into the next one and the next one and pull through loops on the hook. Make slip stitch into the next front loop. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. In total it should be four rounds but you should make degrees in two rounds only. I have done rounds with degreases. You should crochet around. I did degreases only on the front side. It was first round of four. Let's complete this round. Insert the hook into the first loop. Make a slip stitch. I pulled the chain stitch. I pulled the stitch, then make a chain and pull it, turn the work and crochet on the back side, make a slip stitch into the each back loop. This is the second row of my 
of the four rows. Then you should work with your own. Then you should crochet two more rows with your own. One of them with degrees and another one is without it. And I remind you should crochet the greases on the front side only. Let's complete this round with me. As I did usually, make a slip stitch into the first stitch of this round. To secure the yarn by making a chain, you should leave a long piece of yarn to remove this small hole. Using the sewing needle or a crochet hook, you should remove this small hole. I am using the sewing needle. You should turn it on the back side. This is the back side of the head. They are two loops and I take a needle through the both loops. With the needle go through the both loops like this and then you should pull them. With the needle go through the stitches. So you sew, so you should sew one more round, then pull it and work with sewing a needle. I'm working with sewing needle. You can use it crochet hook or another way. I remind you, you can decorate your head using. Crochet flowers, leaves, or another accessory such as pompon. And now I am pull it. So you should pull it as much as you can. And you can sew two more rounds if you want. I am using the same stitches to sew one more round. Or two. You can do it three times if you want. Then you should remove the yarn along the stitches. So after after three rounds, you will get the head without hole. So that's it. My crown is ready. Here how it looks when you are done. I sew it two or three times and I removed my yarn along the stitches and cut off the leftovers. This is the back side of the head. I remind you my head consists of three parts, brim part, straight part and the crown. I remind you, all additional information about the tools could be found in the description of each video tutorial. I remind you, this is the back side of the head. Let's look at double side brim part. I turn it to the front side and I will measure my head. To make your own project, you can change color of yarn, crochet hook, put some accessories on the head. Please don't be afraid to experiment and use your imagination. The brim part is it is twenty centimeters. It is very stretchy and simple, so you can just create ear warmer or handband for yourself if you don't like the hat. Then 
the straight part is it is 26 centimeters the height is 29 centimeters in your head your head could be higher or shorter more stretchy it is very fast and simple to make you don't need special skills you just need to know how to crochet chains and slip stitches and the know how to work with both loops of the stitch you can wear it like a beanie hat or just simple hat or slouchy hat thank you so much for watching good luck in crocheting and see you next time good luck in crafting please learn more with my video tutorial see you next time bye